It's robot building time here at Team Shock. We've got a beetle egg to make. Hello and welcome to episode six of the Team Shock Builders Log. We're back in the shed this time and we're picking up from where we left off in episode five. So last time you might remember we had a beetle weight design ready to make and today we're gonna to be turning that CAD into a reality. Let's get this started. The first stage of the build for me is having a go at prototyping some of the key parts using the 3D printer. Now I've got two of the Creality Ender 3 V2 machines Great for printing in materials like PLA Plus. Also, I've been using a stock one and printing TPU with great results. So I really recommend them. Great machines for the price. Let's have a look at some parts that I've printed already. Uh, the first ones, these are a couple of PLA prototypes of the main weapon arms. So uh, this will be the part that rotates on the machine and it will bring this side. This is where the saw blade goes and that will swing over. I thought I'd try these in PLA first just to make sure I've got the whole spacings right uh, with the belts and pulleys and then if these are uh, correct then I can machine the real ones uh, from HDPE. So I've got two of those still currently with all the brim attached. Uh, I'll get these cleaned up and then I can do some tests. Then also got these will eventually be remade out of TPU so these are the side armour pieces. Uh, one of these will go either side of the main chassis and then you've got like a bit here to act as wheel guard and hopefully stop it getting ripped off straight away by spinners. Uh, we've then got the prototype forks, so I've got a couple more down here as well, but these will stick out the front of the robot. Eventually these will also be made from TPU. Um, I tried a very similar design on Inertia B4, worked brilliantly, so I'm hoping it's gonna do just the same. Then we've got a couple of little bits for inside the robot, so that's a motor mount that's gonna hold the brushless in-runner motor in place, and there's space for a little screw to go through to lock that. Again, similar to what I've done on Inertia. And then the last pieces are prototyped are bits for the saw mechanism. So this is the intermediate stage pulley. I've got an aluminium one of these coming, uh, but I wanted to be able to prototype it and you know try and get a mechanism going. So in the middle of this, I pressed in a little oil-like bushing so that I'm not running the 3D printed stuff on the weapon shaft. And this goes from the weapon motor to this one. And then the belt will have a second stage running off this pulley onto the one at the end of the arm where the saw is going to rotate. Then I've also got the last pulley here. This is the one that goes from that 37 mil gear motor that we looked at last time onto the weapon arm. And this is basically a slightly modified version of the one that I ran on Shockwave Junior. So I'm really hoping that that one should be fine to keep in PLA. Um, next stage then is going to start turning the rest of these components into HDPE versions and I'm going to get the CNC router out. So uh, let's give that a go. So down here is the little CNC router that I use. So this is a 3018 CNC router, that basically the cheap Chinese ones that you can buy. Uh, I got this one for about 120 quid off eBay um, a couple of years ago. And then I've modified it to become basically a 3040 using the expansion kit that I got from China. It's not the best machine in the world. It's not going to be able to cut through anything more than HDPE or polycarbonate. But for building a beetle weight, you really can't go wrong. Um, I use then the eCam software, it's something you can get for free if you're using it at a weekend as a hobbyist and I use that to program it and create all the G-code uh, using the files that I've created on SolidWorks. Lovely little machine, you get all your files onto it by downloading them to an SD card and then you can turn flat pieces of material into your highly complex shapes. So uh, let's give this a go and start building some bits. And there we have it, the first part fresh off the CNC. So this is the back panel of the saw. We've got the two pockets through the middle. That's where those uprights that hold the weapon in place are gonna go. Um, and look at that, I'm really pleased with the quality of that. Let's get machining the rest of the parts and see if we can get this thing put together.
the first few pieces have been machined and these are looking lovely some great quality pieces here uh, let's have a little look then see if they all slot together as they should so to start off with we've got the two bulkheads should just slot there we go really nicely into the uh, the front panel so do the same on the other side that's looking lovely then the side panels also slot into the rear and then we should just be able to lock these last couple of pieces together. And there we have it, look at that. I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed, uh, really impressed with how well these have all fitted together. I think that should be great. So I think now I can start putting some screws in here just to hold it, and then I'll try out a few of the components to see how it's going. So I might have got a little bit carried away when I was putting together the pieces that I just machined today. So actually, here's where it ended up. So I've managed to get pretty much a nice little pretendo bot fitting of all the stuff together. And oh, wow, it is looking fantastic. So I've got the PLA prototypes for the forks, uh, the side armor, and don't forget the weapon arms are still prototyped PLA as well at the moment. Uh, these will eventually get machined out of HDPE and the other bits will all be made from TPU. But how cool is this looking? I've only got a couple of screws holding it all in at the moment. But it's looking great. I still need to machine the base and the lids. I'll do those uh, a bit later on. Uh, but I've also got the drive motors fitted on both sides. I've also got the weapon motor fitted uh, for the arm. So the arm movement um, motor. And I've even got the belt fitted to that as well. And it does seem to be connected up pretty nicely. The saw is still loose at the moment. I need to get that fitted onto its pulley um, hopefully a bit later on in the week. So next time... We're going to do a little bit more work and hopefully get some bits moving on here. So uh, don't forget to tune in next week as we continue with this. And if you like what you see, as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget you can watch all of our previous videos off the Team Shock Builders Log right here on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Join us next time for more on this. See you then.